we have to do something permanent. We have to make a commitment to these guys that's permanent. Because when you are 23 years old and you lose all four of your limbs to a bomb blast in Afghanistan, they never grow back. Every day for the rest of your life, you wake up and you have this reminder of the fact that you don't have limbs anymore. And the only way that I felt that we could do something that would honor that and recognize that in an appropriate way was to make a commitment to them for the rest of their lives. So what we came up with was our JCS Adopt a Hero program. We did not want our veterans, our heroes, our JCS heroes to have to apply for anything. When they signed up to serve this nation and put on the uniform of a, of a Marine or an Army or Navy individual, that's good enough. Nobody joins to get hurt. And we certainly didn't want to have an application process. So the way we wanted to design it was that we would identify, find these guys, and then we'd go out and ask them if they want to be part of a family. We called it our JCS Adopt-A-Hero program. And uh, that's exactly what we did. There's different organizations that help the troops. But this, because all the funds that we raise goes directly to the soldiers. There's no administrative cost. And the other thing that makes us unique is the fact that we adopt these heroes for life. Right, I think we will raise enough funds tonight where we will be able to adopt our first soldier. And we will have continue to have fundraisers throughout the year, probably about three. We couldn't be more thrilled that this national chapter is getting up and running. Uh, we think it's fantastic. Don Ross and, and his wife Pam and, and, uh, and the others on the board of directors have done a fantastic job. We're here for their inaugural event tonight. Um, I was thrilled that they asked me to come down and speak at it. Um, we think the national chapter is going to take off and thrive and uh, we're really looking forward to seeing great things in Nashville.